I'm Dr. Phyllis Collins of DietHoppy.com. Some of you know me as the YouTube Grandma. Today I'm going to make another one of my special comfort dishes. This is called Meal in a Dish. And it's only a diet recipe when you exercise portion control. The whole recipe, your share makes eight servings. And your, see, this pan is going to be full and one eighth of it is going to be a serving. And one eighth is 326 calories, 15 carbs, and 12.4 grams of protein. Portion control is what I do in my diet. Sometimes I have special diet foods and sometimes I eat foods that are not special diet foods, but foods that I've been cooking for years and years. But what I've done is learned how much to eat of the portion. And if you look at my tips and tricks, uh, uh, I have like five videos of tips and tricks on storing foods and you will see how very important that is. It's an extremely important thing uh, to know if you're trying to watch your portions. So if you're interested in dieting, if you're interested in weight loss, if you want to know how can I eat such a small amount and not eat the rest, then you need to watch those videos on um, trips and tricks that involve storage uh, of how I store foods that I buy. Okay, we're going to start out. This is a comfort meal. And uh, when my husband was in, first husband was in graduate school, was very young, then uh, I was the cookbook chairman uh, of the Wives Association. And this is one of the recipes that was one of my contributions. Okay, in those days, I have to tell you, that was before they had Hamburger Helper. You know, when you made food, you made it yourself. And you could use canned things here and there, you know, but you didn't have the process, you know, you didn't have the package and just dump the package in. You had to actually make it. Pretty much what you, only packages you had were packaged soups. Some people don't like to use packaged soups because they feel like it's a processed food. I use canned uh, soups. I think that the, um, I used to, I use Campbell's cream of chicken soup all the time, or you could use cream of mushroom for this recipe. And this recipe calls for green beans. And so, Anyway, I'm going to show you how to make it. Start out, uh, most of my comfort food recipes started out whenever that, that's because it was inexpensive in those days with a pound and a half ground beef. Now, I, in those days I used fatty ground beef because um, the lean ground beef was way too expensive for me. Nowadays I use lean ground beef. So you can put maybe a, I, I use spray coat, I spray coat the pan first, and I did that without showing you. And, uh, and then you can put up to a um, tiniest little bit of oil, maybe up to a tablespoon, if you feel like you need to do it without burning. Okay, now I have here a chopped raw onion, about a medium sized raw onion. I'm just dumping it on top of the meat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stir this around Okay, now as I do this, I salt and pepper things. So I'm just gonna sprinkle salt to taste and pepper to taste. And you just have to, you know, um, I've been cooking a long time, so uh, whatever, how long you saw me sprinkle, that's about how much. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brown this meat. Uh, and actually I'm gonna cook it all the way through. It'll be brown, but it's actually gonna be cooked when I finish. Okay, the meat's been browning for a while and the onions have been cooking with it. And you can see that it's a little crumbly and the onions are soft. Now, if I had used a full fat hamburger meat instead of lean hamburger meat, probably I would wanna to, want to drain off some of the liquid uh, grease to save some calories. But since I'm using um, lean ground beef, I don't have to do that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one can, and I'm using cream of chicken soup. You could use cream of mushroom soup, but I like the way cream of chicken soup tastes better even when I used it with brown beef. So it's, you know, it's thick, you know what soup looks like. And any brand is fine, um, but it's just, I'm putting this inside and mixing it up with the onions and the ground beef. Now this is a, a comfort food, it's an inexpensive recipe. My family, my, my children were small, I cooked it, and my family always liked it. 
Um, I never used Hamburger Helper because they didn't have it when I was young, and um, but it, and um, I just like the way that I make things better, and it's not any, it doesn't take any longer. Um, I still have to cook the hamburger. Okay, so I've mixed that up all together. Okay, now what I'm going to do is this is all mixed up. You see that hamburger and the, and I'm taking and I'm spraying this pan right here and I'm spraying, it's got to be a pan that can go in the oven. Any kind of casserole pan. Uh, I use this pan because I'm going to divide it in eighths and the eighth is a very small amount. This is 326 calories for one eighth. That's how you make it a low calorie recipe. Okay. So take here and I'm going to have to, oh darn it. I have, I'm really to have a hard time since I broke my wrist because I can't do things the way I'm used to. Okay, I'm dump it out, okay, into the pan. So it's, this is sort of similar to a, 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 the idea, similar to a shepherd's pie in a way. So here it is, it's like the base. And like I said, this is called meal in a dish. And here are my green beans, which I've drained. And I'm just gonna sprinkle these green beans around. If I'm really hungry and I want more recipe, then I might use two cans of green beans, but um, this recipe actually only calls for one can. Now the next is, I have these leftover mashed potatoes. I have two cups of mashed potatoes and they're left over from another meal that I had. You could make put mashed potatoes special or sometimes I used to just get instant potatoes and make instant mashed potatoes and use that for them. But this is a really good thing to, that I do when I have potatoes left over from a company meal or something. So I just take these potatoes and I'm going to sprinkle them kind of around on top. And because I'm, what I have is I have, it's meal in a dish. I have all my meal and it's, it's going to be cooked all at one place at one time. And I know my fingers are in it, but my hands are clean. So, and that's one of the things that you can't, when you're cooking, you can't be afraid to touch food. <laughs> because um, I guess if you were a chef in a fancy restaurant, you, you know, there's another way. But when you do home cooking the way that I do, you, you just have to touch your food now and then. Okay, now to top this all off, I usually take about a um, tiny bit of butter what I'm using, probably uh, what I'm using is the equivalent of about a, tea, about a tablespoon. Just little teeny tiny dabs uh, and maybe three teaspoons full, which is one tablespoon. And this is it. This is how it looks. Now this goes in the oven and it bakes until the potatoes are kind of brown and crispy on top. And um, it probably take, I probably keep this in the oven about half an hour. Okay, at 350 degrees. So um, what I'm gonna do is put this in the, in the oven at 350 degrees, and when it's finished, we'll come back and I'll show it to you. We're back with our meal in a dish. It's cooked. This is how it's supposed to look. Whoops! <laughs> I always do that. Okay, so now we'll say this serves eight people. In order to only have 326 calories, you have to only have one eighth. So I'm gonna say here's half, and here's half of the pie, and here's half. Okay, so that means this is my serving right here, like one eighth is kind of like a piece of pie. So I have to get out my, my serving like a piece of pie. And you know what? Sometimes um, using a pie server is a really good idea. So I'm going to try that now and see if that will work. Now it's too messy. Okay, so I'm just going to try and make it in the lines and not have more than my share because this is 326 calories which is a meal for one eighth of this recipe. And this is one eighth. Okay, this is how much one eighth is. This is how much I get to eat. Now if I had a salad with that, 
then I would have maybe my salad would be another 100 calories if I have some, you know, some uh, low, low calorie dressing and a salad. This and a salad would be uh, about a 450 calorie meal. So, see, these things add up. Most people don't have any idea how much they eat and what, how much a proper serving is. What, you know, I mean, you could, I could easily eat half of this and think that I was doing really well, but I wouldn't be. This is how much I'm supposed to eat. And if you can eat more than me, you might get to eat twice that much, one and a half times as much or twice this much. But this is how your food is supposed to look. This is the kind of food, this is meal in a dish, this is my vegetable, my meat, my sauce, and my potato. And if you see the whole thing together, is probably only about three-fourths of a cup, all right? You can have comfort food, you can have rich, fattening food, but you have to have just a little tiny bit. Come and see me, dietHobby.com. Oh, 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 I didn't taste it yet. You, you know, I have to taste it. <laughs> You know, it's worth having just a little bit, sometimes.